Open the doors, right? Let's get the doors open. Pause the game. And this one is called uh, Strathclyde Glasgow Suburb Cruising by HAL 9000 V2. Uh, class 101, West Coast Main Line North. Well, that didn't quite fit, did it? Uh, we won't put the route on it. You can just figure out what route it is. Actually, I'll put the route, not the loco. Because you can kind of see what the loco is. <laughs> there you go. Good night, Italian rail man. Hope to see you again. Let's start the journey. Am I excited about Worry Lines? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Next station is Holy Town. Oh, I've got to put it in gear. <laughs> <laughs> So, Francois says, Glasgow, where there was a nice scenario, starts is where he's been living for the last eight years. Went to university there and is still living there now. You haven't seen this route before, SDH. It's a really good route, actually. There's a lot of variety. I'll show you the map once we get stopped. Because you've got the West Coast mainline part, but then you've also got all of the Glasgow suburbs in there as well. Glasgow, all of Glasgow here. It's Glasgow we're ending tonight, by the way, uh, Francois. Which I think is here, isn't it? Oh, it's Paul Maddy Sheds. This is Glasgow. Here. Glasgow Central. Glasgow Central lower level. But then the route extends down the West Coast Main Line to uh, Carlisle, down here. After the second light, you should take to the left, speed limit being 25 miles per hour.
So we're going to end this scenario 0.7 of a mile from Francois Flat. So when we get to the end, everybody shout happy birthday on the chat. Caps will be allowed for this for this one occasion. Did someone just check Moonbot isn't going to get upset? <laughs> Whistle length increases with your speed. Oh, that's interesting. Mother well. Dropping down to 25. Fifteen limit next. Two miles to Motherwell. L-N-E-R or G-W-R, I'm not answering that. What do you think I want to do, get lynched? There's no good answer to that question, just like it's my bum beginnings. Because it doesn't matter what answer, the other group will lynch me. <laughs> Both. Both awesome, how about that? Cheesy cop out? You betcha. Good night, little kittens. Over there, but it looks a bit. What number is it? Can we see what number it is? One, two, one, it looks a bit. And pace or sprinter? Neither. Double yellow, some back at the coast. Get some speed off. Oh, you we were asking what would I prefer, Pacer or Sprinter? Pacer. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I like them both. Warning for the 15 limit. Hey there, Johnny124, welcome.
of duff sitting over there. It's got us down to 15. Come on the world platform 3. Class 08 or Gronk, neither. 060 diesel shunter, best, much better. Yeah, the numbers have been very good tonight, haven't they, Francois? Need to get you picking the stream the stream more often, clearly. <laughs> Rolling into platform three south. Yes, I will show the clock on Thursday, Morricon. In fact, I'll try and get a video uploaded tomorrow night. Someone remind me, which route is the best for the Croc? Is it the Albula or...? Because obviously given Marketplace, I don't think it comes with any scenarios. I've not looked, it might. Semmering barn for the croc. Interesting. Well, I was just thinking that depending on whether anyone was interested, they might do a special short stream tomorrow just showing the croc after Minecraft. Because I'm pretty well caught up on work for the stream, so uh, I have that option potentially. Bob, please feel free to ask anything you like. into air balls. I keep wanting to say there's air balls. It's not very nice.
think the croc is the ugliest train you've seen. No, it's lovely. It's lovely. What are you talking about? Stop at this end of the platform just to be different. Uh, why won't some operators like BNSF and Virgin? So BNSF do allow us to operate their their trains. So you can, if you're in America, you can buy BNSF trains. But um, there's an issue with BNSF and whether that and the fact that they don't license their brand in the UK or something or outside of the US rather it's not a UK thing um, and because they don't license it outside they can't do it it's complicated to be honest but it's it's not because they dislike us or dislike you it's it's a it is a legal thing whether we like it or not um, and Virgin, uh, like a lot of operators, um, have just haven't haven't decided yet. I think. A lot of them are really concerned about crashes and some really great YouTube videos, which give them that concern. <laughs> um, yeah, it's along those lines. We're going to now Hamilton Central. Uh, Five zero two nine. I'm only really paying a cursory glance to chat. Uh, no, I don't have the birthday song on here, unfortunately. Three Country Corner in Mountain Pass would be an epic run for the crop, but I'll build a line with a meat gauge crop and service a bit cheap. Three Country Corner sounds good though, actually. Semmering Barn also. Make a bad uh, patch, make a patch that just pulls, pulls the screen completely, something happens. Even uh, we've suggested that to some of them, and um, they, they find they don't even want you to be able to even be possible to crash the train. Not just how you deal with it when it happens. They don't even want it to be possible. The only way you could do that is to take basically almost all the freedom of choice and gameplay out of it. That's not that's not a fun game. limit the other side of the tunnel why do the passengers have no legs it sounds like a setup for a good joke doesn't it um, it's because of the way the platform lofts have been set up um, platform loft so if the platform looks like that it's curved it only calculates a straight line between the two ends to work out where the passengers go so they'll be fine in the middle and then as they walk across it, so they'll get more and more covered up. So, um, unfortunately, platforms can really only be flat. Otherwise, it doesn't really work. Alright, 30 miles an hour.
what you have to remember is I think the way that the platform um, lofts work, copper from our changed quite a long time after this route was built because it's quite an old route now. Rolling it now. Hamilton Central. Why was it changed? So the problem, so in, in this, back when this route was done, you could only have a single platform loft. Um, if you had the three, Scott Plopper Mel was suggesting, only a bit of the platform would actually load and unload passengers, and you couldn't really tell which one it was. Whereas um, they, in, when, in, the re, uh, in the updated platforms, it was made to where you could join multiple platform lofts together, and they'd act as one platform. So it was a good update, but it had some other side effects as well. So. Right, Hamilton West. Still on greens. Why is the reverse running on 58%? Because of the reasons. Because we last drove a steam engine. <laughs> That's not the duff you're looking for. Bone grid or duff? Personally, I like the look. I like the look. If I was on my model row or something, I like the look of the 58s bones. There used to be a television station called TSW. <laughs> Tele Southwest or something. When you release the brakes on the BR218 by one notch, so down to two bit, down to one B, and it completely releases the brakes. Some trains do that. I don't know about whether the 218 is supposed to do that, but certain like American trains definitely do that. It's, it's, so it's not unexpected for any release to be a complete release. Blantyre. Simon, you built all your junctions as manual, not automatic. You can change it, it's dead easy. You cut the junction and then rejoin it again. If you don't know what I mean, remind me at the end of the stream, I'll do you a quick video. I'll do that before I finish up.
1.4 to Blantyre. Another one there, look. What's that one? 225. Close, but no scum. No, there's no bulk way of changing a junction, you're just going to have to split and rejoin all of them. Individually, one at a time. What about the class 70? Yeah, I like the class 70 as well. See you later, John. John Oak, thanks for joining. Now on the banks of the River Clyde, again the Clyde that goes through Glasgow and all the way to Helensburgh where the last scenario ended. There is a museum for the famous Scottish explorer David Livingstone. Let's have a wee look at the map. Where are we? Working our way to Glasgow. Right. Newton, 2.4 miles. Play the scenario of the 1575 on Riviera Line. You see, have all the add ons, but you can't drive it. Interesting. How do you mean you can't drive it? I did hear the news about Dimi Schenker lose, looking to lose 900 jobs. Never a good thing. Try finding it, Bob, I've found sometimes the drive buttons don't work, so if you know this name of the scenario, go into either standard or career, depending on what it is. I think the one I ran yesterday was a career scenario. If you go under career and just type the name of it, or the start of the name of it, in the um, search box, you'll be able to run it off the normal menu, and you might find that you have a lot more success running it that way.
Cheers, see you later, Mark A. Do we ever see paint even rest paint jobs? Not a lot. Not a lot. Occasion. EWS doesn't exist. No, it, it was bought out by um, Deutsche Bahn as um, branded up as DB Schenker. bright red. Although as Moggy says a lot of the 66s have kept the EWS branding. Um, I think he's lost. Train station. Not the same as a port. Try run for the Costa Concordia, or is that too soon? I'd like to see a Wisconsin. Um, is it Wisconsin that are used to own with EWS? Because the the idea of driving something like an SD40 um, on um, in EWS livery is just awesome. This Freightliner nowadays is um, a Genesee in Wyoming. It's interesting. here 80 limit coming up now can you imagine a 101 doing 80 I don't know if I was ever on a 101 doing 80 Slang. 
whenever we used to do um, the Scottish exhibition at Model Rail Scotland, uh, which is just down the road from the um, where we're going in a minute. Um, we have Canvas Land was our uh, premier premier inn where we used to stay. Wouldn't do it if you pushed it off. I suddenly realised I need to stop here. No, I haven't been to Miniature Wonderland in Germany. It's, it's on my, uh, it's on the bucket list. We haven't done the Scottish exhibition in several years now, Francois. It worked. We stopped doing it because, uh, as great as it is, and it's probably my favourite exhibition that we all that we, that we did all the all year. Um, I have to take five days off work to do two days travelling up, two days travelling down, and uh, three day exhibition in the middle. It was uh, it was really good. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot of work and quite expensive. Very friendly, one of the best organised shows that I've uh, been to. It's a massive, massive show, and it, yet it felt like a, a, a local model railway club because it was organised by local model railway clubs. It was um, very, very good. What else is on the bucket list? I want to drive, I'll do a driving holiday in America. Hire an RV and just go and drive and see some sights. Go in Switzerland, see the Arbula line, all that sort of stuff. Brother Glenn. things that are expensive and impractical when you're earning a living and expensive and uh, expensive when you're not earning a living. <laughs> you're doing a muscle car. I'm not quite fancy driving an RV. I imagine about 100 miles in I'll be thinking, oh, in a car, in a hotel. Yeah, I want to go to Denmark. Well, I've been to Denmark. It was, um, I'm, I'm going to embarrass myself again. It was Mjönkiburg, is it? Or something like that? Monkeyburg? Where Legoland is? Or where our hotel was, at any rate. We're on the Dana Regina and the Dana St. Clair, was it? Was it? Were the two ships we used. Just before there was a Legoland in the UK. <laughs> Tara, man, you live in Denmark. Awesome. So does Simon. We used to call it Monkeyburg when I when I was. Mjonki it's got a bunch of um, um, uh, umlauts and accents on it, but we used to just call it Monkeyburg when I was a kid. <laughs> By a kid, I mean about five.
Right, coming up on Rother Glen. Was it, has, has Monkey Bird got uh, the O with the slash through it then? Was that what it was? I remember there being something strange and made me think, well, it's, it's not Monkey Bird, is it? It's in Billen. Yeah, no, but we we stayed at a hotel and the hotel was in um, Monkey Bird. <laughs> Monkey Bird. <laughs> Can't be how you say it. Sorry, Danish people. <laughs> Monkey Bjerg, M U N K E B J E R G. That was probably it. Hotel, my hotel monk, Jörg. Yes, that's definitely it. I remember the logo. I remember the logo. Well, that was definitely it. <laughs> right, next part of the platform is rather small, so don't rush into it. You'll fail stop like I did when testing the scenario. Elmanok platform one. White Mead was the better message in a scenario, he'd probably say this scenario might crash, but it doesn't for me. See how Adele ticked down. Harrison, you're asking Moggy if he's heard of a variant of the Gronk. Moggy is a walking encyclopedia, O oh Gronk. White me, when are you changing your name on Steam to Crash Me? That's what I want to know. Moggy, is that the twin Gronk? No, that's the 13. Oh my word, prove me wrong. Apparently, Moggy isn't a walking encyclopedia of Gronk. I remember, you know, I was only young at the time, but I remember enjoying it in Denmark. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Moggy's brain has switched off. <laughs> I hope you're ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Bridgeton.
post it in. Oh, his steam gone down. Yep, no connection. Bye bye, steam. Steam has never worth the internet. <laughs> Argyle Street and then Glasgow, low level. Does anybody here um, use, because um, no Twitch have started doing upload videos, does anyone here watch any um, VODs uh, via video on demand on um, Twitch? Is that somewhere Is that somewhere you even consider going for VOD or do you just go on YouTube? Just wondering about sort of uploading VODs back to YouTube, and, uh, sorry, to Twitch as well as uploading them to YouTube. Yeah, at the moment YouTube VOD definitely works better than Twitch. Without a doubt. I'm not going to stop my boat to get you, just for the record. I was just curious whether anybody had uh, started looking at your uh, VODs more on Twitch. I'm not so worried about the highlight system, Coplop, because I record locally now and use um, Vegas to clip all the videos. It's significantly better. It's really just a question of whether or not the final product gets uploaded to Twitch or just to YouTube. Yeah, I got tired of the highlighting functionality. That's why I started down, because I can also record a much higher quality locally. Um, with OBS, I can simultaneously record at a different quality. 
um, and then I can use Vegas to get a much better output than we get via Twitch. It's a lot more work compared to um, it's a lot more work compared to than just highlighting and pushing over Twitch, but. Uh, I'm much happy with the end result to be honest. Oops, I've changed here. Yeah, the upside of Twitch is chat, but if I've downloaded if I've recorded locally and uploaded then you don't get the chat. That's only for highlights. I think that's it. Well, we've still got the chat in the bottom left corner of the screen though, Coploppermer. <laughs> Well done, please leave a comment in the workshop. So that was Strathclyde Suburb Glasgow Suburb Cruising by Hal 9000 V2. Great job. Really enjoyed that. Brilliant. Well, happy birthday to Francois. Let's just this reminder, this is uh, Francois's birthday stream. It's his birthday tomorrow, and of course we're not streaming tomorrow not, uh, properly. So uh, we're doing his 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 birthday streams. This is a moderator thing. Um the um so yeah, I'm gonna sort of. It's really a celebration, sort of a thank you to the moderators. Um, and uh, so yeah, this is Francois for tomorrow. Friday is Moggy's birthday, so he's picking the scenarios. Francois picked all of these today, um, and uh, I have to say, I was really happy with that. It was a really good selection there, really good one. So thank you very much, Francois. And once again, a big happy birthday. We were gonna do some happy birthdays in caps on the chat. Come on, folks! Happy birthday to Francois. Whoop it up. Whoop it up. You can put some Frankers in there if you want. <laughs> 